Hey, I'm Rocky Mod. I love game jams. But it's been more than two months since I made fast for the Xander Jam 6. So I'm thinking about what's the next step for me. I really enjoyed the hype of participating in a big jam like Vim Jam 2, which had 412 entries. Vim Jam 2 was a 10 day game jam which is definitely my preferred duration for a jam. Sadly, most big jams like Ludum Dare, GameMaker Toolkit are all weekend long game jams. I used to participate to 48 hours IRL game jams with a team and it was fun and all, but I've been sticking to 7 day and 10 day game jams since I started going solo for online game jams. I feel it's perfect to make a short but complete game that I'm proud to have made. Another big popular jam is Bracky's Game Jam. For some reason, I always assume it was another weekend long game jam. And I only realized recently that it was actually a 7 day game jam. Bracky's Game Jam 2022.1 had 1639 entries, so around 4 times the entries of Vim Jam 2, so definitely a big jam. Perfect. Bracky's Game Jam is twice a year. While the exact date of 2022.2 is not announced yet, based on past iterations, I can assume it will be at the end of August. I have plenty of time to practice, might as well participate in another jam before that. Early May seems like the perfect time for a game jam. Itch always has dozens of game jams at any time of the year, so I started to browse the jams for the chosen one. And I was surprised to not really find any. They were all either really really small jams where around 5 people join or with a constraint that would not be a good fit for me, like forcing a tech I don't use. So no jams for me in May. That's when I thought of game dev YouTubers making private challenges, like Vimlark's Ready Set Jam or Mrs.'s 4 devs jam of the same art kit. There are challenges where a few participants are asked to make a game in a total of 48 non-consecutive hours, meaning the game can be made over a couple of weeks, making it a way more chill approach to a game jam. Since nobody bothers to invite me to one of those, I decided to make my own. It's not like I really wanted to get invited anyway. Since I went try hard for Vim Jam 2, I wanted to approach Xander Jam 6 more casually and didn't do that at all. I've been running into the same problem every jam. Once I'm started, I go all in and crunch like a madman and then take a long break because I burned myself out. So a constraint on the total amount of time spent on the jam means I can't work more, like I could on a week long jam forcing me to be efficient with how I use that time. So I decided my challenge would be to spend only 3 hours a day on making the game, meaning 16 days for a total of 48 hours, from May 7th to May 22nd, where I would upload the result on itch. To make it more like a game jam, I asked a friend to think of a theme for me that they will reveal to me on the 6th, the day before the start of the challenge. Ok, but why am I talking about it instead of just doing it and then making a video about it? It's all about motivation. A lot of people see motivation as a magical force from within driving you forward. You are inspired one day to make a game, start working on it right away, all motivated, and then you just don't feel like it anymore and give up. I feel the best way to avoid that is to have a deadline and peer pressure. I make this video so people know I'm going to do it and when. So I won't give up because I don't feel like it once the time of the challenge comes. Otherwise this YouTube video will forever be a reminder of whatever happened with Rocky's May challenge. I'll obviously be making a video about the result, so please subscribe so you don't miss it. <laughs> While you wait, you can always try my stuff on itch. I'm Rocky Mallet. See you after the challenge. You don't want to miss the video about the challenge, so it would probably be a good idea to subscribe. <laughs>